Welcome back. So welcome back. So today we are going to make a cake. We're just going to try to make the cheapest cake possible. Uh, we are making a cake because we welcomed a new family member to our family. Uh, his name is Ethan. We'll introduce him at the end of the video. Uh, so this cake has another name for it. It's called uh, also called Wacky Cake. Uh, it's which my mom called it. It's a family recipe. So my aunt also made this in college because it was a cheaper uh, cake to make. And it's better than box store cakes that you can buy in the store. So before we get started, here's a little joke for you. So what's the difference between a well-dressed man on a tricycle and a poorly dressed man on a bicycle? A tire. <laughs> All right, terrible, terrible. All right, so without further ado, let's get cooking. What's that cooking? Before we get started, I'd like to apologize for my dragon voice. I've been sick for the last couple of days. The reason why I'm calling it dragon voice is because that's what Ellie calls it. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to combine all of our dry ingredients. So we're going to take three cups of flour, two cups of sugar, five tablespoons of cocoa powder, one teaspoon of baking powder, and up two teaspoons of baking soda. And we're just going to mix this with a tiny whisk until it's thoroughly combined. Mmm, that'll be so cake. Whoa, <laughs> sorry, that's on my life, but. <laughs> then in a separate bowl, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix our wet ingredients. So we're gonna take two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, a half a cup of oil, and two cups of water. And we're just gonna mix this until this combined. Once we have that combined, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our dry ingredients and dump it into our wet ingredients. We're gonna do this slowly. So I'm just going to slowly dump this in while she mixes it. So once it's all dumped in, we're just going to thoroughly combine, make sure there's no lumps. It's nice and smooth. So now that we got that all thoroughly combined, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grease our pan and dump this glorious chocolate mixture into our cake pan. Nine inch pan in this case. You can do a 13 by nine pan. Uh, if you do, the time will vary between the two. So in this case, since we're doing a nine inch pan, we're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for about 45 to 50 minutes. If you're doing a 13 by nine inch pan, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna bake it at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes. It's a lot quicker um, if you wanted to go that route. All right, so there we have our cake and here is Ethan. Say hi, Ethan. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Oh, oh don't do that. <laughs> not for his hair. All right, so without further ado, let's get taste testing. Can you call me piece? Is that all for you? You want this whole piece? Okay. Oh, you missed some. How is it? Good. Good. It's just really good. It's really it's, good? It's just really good. <laughs> I believe we want to taste it. Baby Ethan wants to taste it. Well, he can't taste it yet. I mean, he's older, he can taste it. All right, well, I think it's absolutely delicious. It's very moist. Uh, it does have a little zingy from the vinegar, but it is absolutely delicious. Uh, the chocolate comes through. It's not overly sweet, which is perfect. Um, definitely better than the box cake. I would agree it's better than the box cake. Um, it's, uh, it's very rich. It's a little, uh, very filling, I would say. Love all the chocolate. You can definitely taste all the chocolate, which, who, you can, how can you go wrong with chocolate? It's very good. I like it. Awesome. So as you can see, I did add all the ingredients in the mixture uh, down below. And you can see it did come out to be cheaper than the box cake, which, hey. And another thing you can do with this is you can actually make this cake ahead of time and just add the wet ingredients later. They're perfect. Uh, you can make a quick cake in a snap. So, well, with that being said, if you like this video, hit the like button down below. If you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Until next time, we'll see you later. Goodbye.